you know? So, forgive me if I came about the wrong way in the last video, because that's not how I, I meant it, you know? I was just trying to say it simple, but, you know, please don't just stop in the middle of my video and don't finish it before you comment, because, no, like, I'm living the word, I'm a Christian, I'm, I'm you know, I'm still... I'm not considering myself a sinner because, you know, when you're saved, God doesn't see you as a sinner. You know, if if you're not deliberately living in sin, you know, he calls you the righteousness of God in Christ. He sees Jesus. So, yes, you know, I fall and I do sin, but I am still considered, you know, who God says I am. So, you know, I'm not perfect, but I'm not going to deliberately live in sin. Like, I'm not going to do that because that's saying what Jesus did for me. I don't care, and I wouldn't, I would never, yes, I have done that before, but now, like, I know the truth, so for me to know this truth, now, to go live deliberately in sin, then that means no more grace for me, I'm going to be judged, you know, because that's, that's what that means, and I will go to hell, no, I'm not deliberately living sin, if I'm doing something wrong, the Holy Spirit prompt me, and it's like, no, it's not right, you need to you need to ask for forgiveness. You need to go pray and change your ways. That's what that's all about. Um, let's see. So before I even did this video, what God's kept telling me telling me is a tree is identified by its fruits, and you know that's all He was talking about um, through the Gospels. And so to me, this always stuck out to me because as Christians. Yes, judge as in saying, no, we don't have the power to say you're going to hell. But judge saying, you know, we want you to live right. So this is why we're telling you the truth. Because what you're doing will lead to death eternally, to, to hell. So don't just go yelling at people and stuff. Because that's not how Jesus preached. And I'm always thinking about Jesus and the disciples. And it's like, I could not picture them, you know, yelling at people. What would Jesus look like if he went and said, I'm the only way? I'm, I'm the great I am, believe in me or die or perish. Like, that's not what he did. He, he said, you need some healing. I'm going to heal you. Open up your blind eyes. Raise the dead. Teach you these deep truths. Like, you know, he's love. Like, God is love. And so I learned that, you know, as well, to not go about being all bossy and demanding about it. Just to say, you know, love, because that's who he is. And you have to share the deeper truths, you know, like the wages of sin is death. So, you know, eventually, you know, we all will die, but you got to live a tough life and then die and then go to hell eternally if you're just living in sin, deliberately, like, willfully, you know? So, a tree is identified as fruits. So, we see, okay, let's talk about literally, if we see a tree, like a good tree producing, like, apples and stuff, you know, we'll say, okay, that's a healthy tree, that's a good tree. But if we see a tree that's bad, like rotten fruits and stuff, we're like, okay, that's a bad tree. So as for a person, fruits of the spirit, you know, love, joy, peace, patient, kindness, goodness, faith, gentleness, self-control. When we see a person like this, in, in the claiming to know Jesus, of course, because, you know, we need Jesus. When we see a person, a good Christian, that's living like that, yes, you know, they fell just like us. But when we see that, a, a person that's living right and a Christian, we see that as, okay, they're doing it right. You know, they're not delivery living in sin, and that's the way to go. But even us can't say, you know, they going to heaven because they can believe that and confess that. But if they really don't believe Jesus in their, in their heart, then even we can't even judge them by saying they're going to heaven, you know, because only God can judge. I mean, only God can send you to heaven or to hell.